This is a new tutorial for learning prototyping in Figma. We will learn to create simple prototypes like navigating between pages and also we will learn to create smart animated elements like this search input. We will create smart animated navigations and also smart buttons like this play button. So let's get started. Hello my friends, I hope you are doing well. As you know us, we have successfully finished creating a Spotify mobile application in the previous playlist. We have got so much feedback from you, thanks for all of your supports. With a bunch of positive energy, now it is time to create prototype of our design. Let's answer some questions first. What is prototyping? Prototypes are a fantastic way to preview interactions and user flows. In Figma, we have prototyping feature to create all possible interactions with our product. It is so easy and so cool. The next question is why we create prototype of our design. We use prototypes for some reasons. Get feedbacks from others, test our application and also we can use it to present our design. So it is one of the most important steps of designing a product before starting to launch a live version because we can solve early stage problems before users getting trouble with them and stop using our product because of those problems. So learning prototyping is essential guys. Let's create the first simple prototype of our Spotify application. First thing first, remember to arrange everything in a logical order with a clear identifiable names. I mean in order how we will switch between these frames. This makes you not to be confused and easily connect the frames. So I'm going to put the home page first, then search page and then playlist and the last one is the playing music. This is the order of pages that I'm going to switch between them. Right side panel gives us three options, design, prototype and inspect. To starting prototyping, you should click on prototype tab. Every flow should have starting point frame. So select the starting point. Here is our home page. Then from here hit the plus button and rename your starting point. Step 3 is to add interactions. Let's connect frames based on their relations. Select your frame from this point. You can drag and drop a connection between two frames. Automatically this menu shows you the settings of the prototypes that you can change them and get enjoyable animations for your prototypes. We will learn them in next sessions. So let's add these connections between all of these frames. Last step before presenting our prototype is to adjust some setting. Hit this prototype setting button and from device tab you can select the device that you want to show your prototype. I'm going to select iPhone 11 Pro Max and from background tab you can change the color of your background. For presenting your prototype you can hit present button next to your starting point. Hit this button and wait until your prototype loads. If you click on the screen, you can switch between these screens. This is the simplest prototype that you can create in Figma. If you want to share your prototype to get feedbacks from your friends and others, you can hit this share button and here you can add your friend's email address or you can copy the link below and share the link in anywhere you want to get feedback from. I hope that you guys enjoyed this lesson. Stay with us for the next lessons to create smart animations. Subscribe our channel and hit the like button to support us and give us your feedbacks. Happy designing!